Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Around Oven Break. So, we did manage to complete the entirety of the, well, I guess the first part entirety of the Yakwa Village haunting tales and stuff. However, that doesn't mean that we're finished there because, despite there not being much time left for the event, and I know it does say 19 days, but this only has five days, we're still on hard mode in the mid uh, in Midnight Sun. Because there's hard mode plebs that we have to deal with. I don't know how difficult these plebs are going to be, but the hard guardian posts, I think it provides a little bit better rewards. I don't know if there's a custom story with this, but we do have a gim cookie just talking in hard mode. You can run with a combi only once. Plus the monsters are stronger, meaning you'll need to achieve higher points to banish them. Hmm. Choose the best cookies and show off your skills. Okay, so I don't. So uh, only one run. That's kind of terrifying because I, I'm not sure if that's going to mean I'm going to need like. A super high amount of points but uh i guess what we could do we could do like you know very versatile like you know candlelight and maybe a white ghost i don't know what would be the best here i'm gonna be honest but i just need to do whatever i can uh because we're just we're the best thing that oh wait oh first oh okay so we we can only run with like a certain amount of cookies so like if i run with candlelight once then that's gonna be that but then i run with white ghosts and then that's gonna be that and then both of them are eliminated so i'm just gonna have to keep on going Okay, so I guess our best bet is that we're going to need to have a strong start. So I guess going with Candlelight might do us good. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully we can get a high amount of points. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll have to dedicate like a hard mode video to each and every single one. Because if that's the case, that's probably going to take a long time. But then again, if there's not much added to the trial, then what I can usually do is uh, I can just go ahead and just like do all the hard mode beasts just like in one fell swoop. See how long it does take me. Uh, we'll take those letters. Thank you very much. As my plumbing yakwa, uh, what, what are they called? Rice cake thing. Whatever it is, I'm claiming that. I'm gonna speed up through this because I need to make. I, I need to get as much distance as possible trying to get uh, catch this plug because uh, I'm just saying if I can only run with too, so many cookies, then uh, this is gonna be a big issue. So let's go ahead and get these real quick. I don't know really how this video is gonna work. It's gonna be so confusing, but hopefully we can just like you know you know get the good loot on this. Uh, some of those meteors. Hopefully it can hit that plumbing thing to do damage. Uh, probably not. The only thing that can really do damage to this, which there's not even a damage impact thing on here. It's just arrows, but it gives you points. There's no health bar. It's not like Raid Run. What are you kidding me? Oh, I messed up. I missed the bombs. I, saw, I was literally going like, oh, there's a high platform I can jump up on uh, top of. And it's not like that I just missed it. I just saw a path of jellies that was down. I was like, wait, I should be going there. But of course, that was my big mistake. And that made me lose... A lot of points because the thing is the bombs give it way more points than the arrows i mean they attack in small quantities but they give big boom so that was a big misplay on my behalf i didn't even know there were arrows in the center there i was too confused uh let's just take everything here try and make more distance because we already have c rank let's see if we can at least get to maybe b because we only have a limited amount of energy and the more that i see that energy drain the more that i actually start getting paranoid uh, i doubt i'll be able to actually like do this in one run like there's no way which if that's the case i can only imagine what the difficulty after this is which i think it's called like master mode or like insane mode and i hate that so whatever the case is let's just gather up everything that we can not get hit by a single thing because that's the worst thing i could just let happen to me just getting hit i really hope i don't jinx myself and like let something hit me right as i say that because if that happens i'm i swear i'm not doing this for comedy i think i almost just got hit right there I swear, I'm not making this up for comedy, I swear. Ugh, I always get paranoid about that. Th people think I'm just faking it for views. I swear I'm not. I'm actually trying to play the game. All right, take the big potion. Okay. Kind of tricky jumps because they're kind of like ramped, if that makes sense. Uh, we'll use this. Okay, we're at C rank. Uh, I thought we... Oh, wait. Okay, I guess I confused myself. I thought... I'm getting confused with the cookie trials. I'm just thinking like, oh, okay, it says that B uh, C rank is up there. That means we're currently at C rank. And then after passing that, we'll reach B rank. All right, so now that's done, what happens after? I'm curious. Uh, so candlelight's down. Wait, I almost forgot. Don't worry about making a mistake. You can run again with cookies you've already run with. Now, I think it's about time that... Uh, I think it's about time. Oh, no, that's about it. Now, let's go ahead and banish those monsters. All right, let's see if we can kill them. I hope we can, because if we can't... Uh, oops, we also get some exorcism rewards. Oh, it's these. Oh, it's called crazy mode. Uh, great. Okay. Well, yeah, next we're gonna run with a white ghost cookie, which does it also take away the treasures? Yes, it- oh, no, that's kind of bad. Well, okay, well, let me go ahead and swap that out with this because it's gonna give us more And uh, I guess we just got to run with all the all of our things that are like highest graded Because you know, we need all the points that we can get 
So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see if White Ghost Cookie can claim the bag for us. I don't know if I'll do like a video on this for uh, hard mode and then one more for crazy mode because I realize there's no way I'm going to be able to like upload every single uh, hard mode. Maybe? I don't know. It'll depend. But like, I have a lot of other videos I need to make and everything is a lot of do at this point. It's honestly, if I could upload five videos in a day, I probably would. But that would probably also eat away at me. But it's like at events like these where it's just like, uh, oh, hey, I can, uh, I have the opportunity to like record like five videos in a day. Why can't I just upload them? Because the thing is, technically I can. Like obviously I can't upload like five times in a day if I want to. But the thing is, uh, the, I think YouTube notifications work on the sense where like you can only like, you can only notify people that you've uploaded like three times a day. And the thing is like, I'm not saying that like deteriorates me, but the thing is like, you know, low viewership and like people may not know like, you know, wait, when did you upload this? Are you crazy? And of course, when that happens, uh, I kind of feel like it's unfaithful, if that makes sense. I, I need to make sure that when I do post, people do indeed know about it. Oh, guess what? I got those bombs that time. So that's more points. You didn't see it, but just because White Ghost just like speeded through all those plebs, just scaring those children. Pretty good. All right, so whatevs. I guess maybe what I could do is uh, if I'm able to take down the boss on this run, I could probably just like see if I could just take down the next boss in a matter of like a few, like, you know, I don't know, like, by that, I'm, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to probably say, uh, you know, I'll probably take down, like, half the health of the next boss. Uh, and then, uh, if we can pull that off, then, like, obviously, I could probably do the same thing in insane mode. So, this would probably only take, like, two videos. I don't know. But whatever. It's only just the boss laying stuff, so nothing too major, super hyper important. So, I don't really care. But, oh my gosh, we're already getting that many points. I, mean, I swear, the closer that we get to high rankings, the higher the scores, like, usually tend to get, which is obvious. But, like, I swear, the faster I tend to get the points, which I don't know if that's just a thing common for the actual, uh, you know, game mode. But I'll, I'll take the faster getting points, whatever, because you know what? I need those points. That is, is that another motorcycle? I swear, I've been having issues with, you know, this is why I like to record at night, but I changed my sleeping schedule. So if you're going to hear motorcycles live in the recording, guess what? That's something I just cannot change unless if I kill them. <laughs> But, uh, I, well, I, I, would, I would never do that. What do you think? I would do that? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, kill Mr. Rev, 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 Honestly, you gotta pray that's a chainsaw or something. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, if it was a chainsaw, it would make the same exact noises, but no one would take another glance to guess. Anyway, we're actually back in this very... This music is very relaxing. I missed an arrow. I'm gonna grab that chainsaw sooner or later. <laughs> Come on, throw the bomb. Eh, a lot of points. Uh, well, I think I missed a big bird jelly there, but not gonna worry too much about that. Worry more about the sound quality. Oh, oh my gosh, all those arrows. That's a plumbing lot of arrows. Okay, I think I just gotta put- yes. Who is revving that loud? This is- this is the thing that caused me insanity. Yeah, I think getting the jellies would be a better way of getting points. Okay, so we can reach A rank. This is good. That means with only one more cookie, we're gonna be able to clutch this out. I'm not sure if the rest of the skill would actually get S rank. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to run with one more cookie to achieve it. And then we'll be all fine and dandy from there. Uh, oh, come on. I was so close. All right. Well, whatevs. We'll just run with one more cookie. It's fine. This pl this club is going to get beat up whether they like it or not. And I'm pretty sure they don't like it at all. Let's send this guardian post to the wood chipper. Because that's all they're good for. Okay. Rebel cookie. You know what? It probably won't take that many more points. So let's put on some lower rating. Yeah. yeah you know what? We'll use those treasures. It won probably won't take much more to uh, get rid of this club. Because we're already halfway through getting S rank anyway. So let's see if we can get a lot of points here. Boop, beep, bop, boop. Get rid of all these rebel clones. Come on, L literally, we're already in like, oh, like, what? Is that a three-fifths? No, that wouldn't, because three-fifths would be halfway. Because, like, now we're edging on the verge of four-fifths. So come on. And I know four-fifths kind of sounds like forfeit. And also we're using the Moon Lantern, which, as I mentioned before, sure, it may not be the highest level, but I do need to use that for my uh, Treasure Mastery event, just so I can get some extra loot. Uh, but I'm pretty sure my primary points of just trying to really get this boss down is just spamming those arrows. And also the abrupt amount of points, because I keep forgetting I can use a certain skill that can get me extra points by ground pounding. Uh, this should be enough. Yes, it is. We only ran with like one minute there with a rebel cookie. That was barely much, but there we go. They're down for the count, and we did it with over 9 million points. Took three plumbing runners, first place, second place, and third place. Surprisingly, White Ghost did better than Candlelight, which kind of does make sense, but... Whatever. Now that that's done, we can get all this fresh reward, loot reward, and I just call it Liveward. Rainbow cubes, cookie potions, pet potions, magic candy blessing tickets, and coins. 
Fantastic. So now that plug's done, we're going to go ahead and take a gander at the metal launcher because I want to see how this plug worked before I end this video because I got to take down this plug too, and that's going to take some work. So are all of our cookies reset? Okay, it's still Oak Chun right now. And uh, yeah, okay, all of our cookies are reset, but uh, do we have a less amount? I don't know, but just in case what I'm going to do... Actually, let's change it up. We're going to use uh, Ginseng first, only just because, you know, good change in pace. Don't want to show off every one of the same cookies. And uh, do I have an associated treasure? Extra points? Uh, no, but I guess we'll just slap on the camera right there. And uh, let's see how good we can do against the Metal Muncher. Maybe we'll just run like one or two times against them, and uh, we'll take down the plug. And luckily with Ginseng, uh, the old plug does have a uh, revive, which that's one of my favorite things about Ginseng. Like, you just think they just have a stroke? No, 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 no. That was just a false play, because they'll just instantly jump back up and just like, oh, huh, you thought I'd die? Joke's on you, I'm like 500 years old and death hasn't caught up with me yet because I'm fast as hell. <laughs> anyway, where's, the, where, okay, there you are. I was about to question, when the plug are you showing up? And luckily it wasn't even that long. So far for difficulty, the levels aren't the hardest, though I can sense why they would be more difficult because you know, probably like more obstacles are being added. And this isn't even the hardest difficulty because they're still in, uh, what was it, crazy mode? Which, oh, that's gonna be a fun time to go through, which maybe I'll make a similar video based around that. See how I can pull that off. There's going to be a lot of videos I make today. Like, I expect to only make, like, maybe two minimum. And maybe four maximum. But, sheesh, this is bad. I, I might have to invest in, like, just doing two videos of Oven Break a day as well. Sometimes, and then doing, like, King... Because I swear, it's not that I'm running out of video ideas for Kingdom. I'm just saying, like, in regards to Oven Break, there's still so much more for me to do. Like, you know, I could do, like, you know, cookie reviews. Like, I, I don't think I've ever done, like, a cookie review in essence of uh, oven break like you know i've done little showcase videos for uh you know of, like kingdom you know like oh tiger lily i think that was one of my first examples oh they're eating everything stop that i mean you look you look good with that nice food in you you're probably getting some good calories i don't even think metal has any calories probably not unless if you're like made of lava Which, oh that honestly that reminds me of like earthbound if that makes sense if anyone gets that then uh, shout outs to you but uh i don't think anyone would even understand that unless if i you know gave actual context uh, okay, big issue, didn't get the big potion, I still got some of the things, which, honestly, I could have done way better at, but, eh, whatever, maybe we'll do, like, one more or two more runs, maybe this could be the last one, and we'll see how far we can get, because, uh, so far, made some pretty decent progress, and then maybe the next video, we'll just, like, take down both the Metal Muncher, and also, uh, you know, the, uh, what is it, the Claw Summoner? Yeah, we'll take them down both the same video, only just because... I was gonna maybe say like, oh, maybe we can do like two more runs on this, but Jinseng does come back with a little bit of an extra revive, so this video might be a little bit longer than I expected, uh, but honestly, who cares? This is already pretty exciting for me. Uh, can we at least reach C? It is super close. Come on, please. It's so close. Uh, I don't think there's a chance in heck. Oh, I missed that one. That was actually my bad. I was supposed to get the magnet, and I really messed up on that one. Okay, well, we didn't get C, but we're very close. I'm pretty sure in the next video, we can pull that off. Next video might be longer, but uh, expect to see this again, because uh, we're going to go boss slang. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merch if you want to check it out, but I'm not going to force you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out. There's also all my social medias down in the description, along with my Discord name called The Hypnese Hub. And there's a Twitter link down below where if it gets a uh, yeah, it's a post, or if it gets uh, 10,000 likes, I can give the kick around YouTube stuff for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hypnese.